What's going on everybody, it's Core here, and welcome to my first video with actual proper live commentary. I never thought I'd see this day, but I am actually filming a video right now with live commentary. So, yeah, this is, this is definitely big news to me. So, the reason why I uh, took some time off is because uh, I was sorting out some PC issues, and now that they've been sorted out for the most part... I figured I'd make a video, and what better way to get back into the YouTube game by making one of my favorite types of videos to make, and that's a mod on Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. And not just any mod, but this mod right here, the Lamborghini Terzo Milenio. So, if you don't know about this car, it's a crazy uh, Lamborghini concept designed for uh, to, to preview the future. Of Lamborghini models and it's absolutely crazy it's electric and it has all kinds of insane active aero which I'll show off in just a bit and in case you're wondering the name Terzo Millennio uh, in Italian translates to third millennium so if the third millennium brings us cars like this I'd I'd love to see it but chances are we won't survive till the third millennium so with that in mind let's go ahead and begin customizing this car so in terms of body kits there's only three and they change the position of the active arrows well first of all there are those fins that you see on the side of the car and on the rear that move around which is crazy i'm not that educated on this uh, particular concept but from what i can see it has pretty insane active arrow then the second body as you might have seen uh extends the front splitter a little bit and raises the rear spoiler and then the third body kit just uh, raises the rear spoiler and moves the fins back. So I think I'll sell for body two because the fins look better when they're not in their most backwards position. Spoilers, I don't think we can do anything. Rims, I I don't know about you, but I wouldn't change these rims. They, they just couldn't fit the car better than they already do. And yeah, that's about it. So we're going to uh, put max performance upgrades on this car, as you might expect. One thing that's pretty cool is that there are no NOS or supercharger upgrades because this car is electric, it doesn't need them. That's very good attention to detail from the creator of this mod. Oh, of course, there will be a link to download the mod in the description below this video on nfscars.net, which is the place where I get all my mods from. So while this white color looks pretty cool, it doesn't fit the car because this this does replace the SLR McLaren. So I say we should go for the color that was originally on the Terzo Millennio, which is like a uh, like a dark gray color. So mm, actually, this pretty this shiny black from the custom color section looks pretty cool. So I'm guessing I'm gonna go with that. Unfortunately, vinyls are not available. Let's try window tint. I don't know if that's available. Yes, it is. Okay, I'll try dark pearl orange because of the orange accents. See how that looks. Yep, definitely gonna have that. And a nice set of, a nice custom gauge to finish it off. Mm, yeah, why not? And our Terzo Millennio is done. And I think you'll agree that it looks pretty damn sweet. It looks like the, uh, mostly like the original concept, except that the, uh, those streaks in the rims don't glow, uh, like they do on the concept itself, which is a, which is just insane. Uh, but yeah, that's our Terzo Millennio customized and now it's ready to race and that's exactly what we're gonna do right now I'm trying to find a race that has a nice set of uh, technical corners. It seems it's proving to be a little bit difficult No, we're, we don't have enough circuit races for that. Let's try sprint. Uh, let's try sprint race. That's pretty good Also, I'm gonna settle, settle for that All right, let's do this fellas we're the only electric car in the lineup. Let's go. I forgot to shift. I forgot I was in manual transmission. One thing that's really cool about this car, about this mod actually, is that even though it has gears, it's, as you can tell, it's almost silent except for the whine, which I believe is just the supercharger whine from the SLR McLaren, which this car replaces, but left on its own. And another thing you'll notice, see, there's no nitrous in this car. Combined with the fact that this race is on hard difficulty should prove slightly more of a challenge although from what i can tell right now not really even though i'm on hard difficulty this thing is plenty fast enough to pull away from all those ai over there so one thing i'm noticing is that this thing grips like there's no tomorrow seriously it's very very grippy and that's a very good thing then again you'd expect it to be grippy this is so crazy oh god Ooh, i almost messed up there it's so weird driving a car in this game that makes pretty much no noise other than the whine it can just hear all the stuff 
blowing past you in the wind. Oh, and here we are on the highway. Let's see if we can get to the top speed. And I just heard some of the ambient sounds in the background. Like, I think it was a cop siren or something. Whoops, a daisy. Oh. Yep, my uh, amazing driving skills are totally showing off right now. And the sun is back up. Nice. After applying the Xbox 360 visual treatment settings, I've noticed that it's cloudy or it's raining pretty much all the time. So it kind of reminds me of Need for Speed 2015 in that respect. And we are done. So that in conclusion, very good mod. Uh, I definitely suggest you download it. As I said, there will be a link in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel and uh, check out my social media. Links will be in the description. And until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.